Hey guys, so I got requested to do a, like a how to play um, of Life of Bath. And overall it's a pretty fairly easy song. It's um, just these chords. And then towards the end. So um, to start off with, it's, I, I believe it, when I listen to it, it, in standard tuning it doesn't sound quite right. So I'm playing half a step down. I believe it's half a step down anyways. If you look on the tuner, it would be a D and then a pound sign, and I believe that's D sharp. So, um, anyways, for the intro, uh, it, you don't need to use a capo. Sometimes I, you know, if I don't have one with me, I won't. But overall, it's just easier to play it because if you want to play the hammer ons with it, uh, which you can faintly hear in there or something similar to it, you might just be picking out the chord. But, um, Overall, just using a capo makes it, if you want to do some cool, you know, for Shante like hammer-ons and stuff, makes it easier, and also for teaching this, it just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to put a capo on the second fret. So your second fret is, would be barred then normally, but uh, then the rest of the chord is just on the fifth fret and the fourth fret, fifth on the A string, and then the fourth on the D. So overall, the chord should sound something like this. So that's the intro. It's just that one chord, uh, and overall, you're just going to be strumming. And uh, you can hear it in there. He's kind of hitting some higher up stuff to give it a little more of a deeper sound. Uh, then, if you want, like I was saying with the hammer-ons, uh, you do a hammer-on, which would normally be a two to four. So, and then oh, you know, so. That's one of them. Uh, another one I like to throw in there is a hammer on from the two and the five. So if you put it together, it should sound. The intro should sound something like. And then right before he transitions, you hear some deep sounding chord in there. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not positive on this, but I believe it's just. So, you just gotta get the strum pattern down. I don't know. Um, so then he goes into the verse, which is three chords, and they are on the A string, uh, ninth fret, and then the G string, or sorry, the B, D string, eleventh uh, fret, so nine and eleven. So that's where it's. And then he slides down to 12 and 14, same strings, so. And then he slides up to 7 and 5, or 5 and 7 on the same string, so. and then there's that kind of pause, and then it comes back in. So it's just those three chords. It's fairly simple. Then towards the outro, I guess you would call it, where he's, you know, life's a bad, sex is water. And then um, it's, it's two of the same chords. And then where every time he says, come on, it's uh, barring the seventh fret the on the... D, G, and B. So together it should be. Come on. Come on. All right. So that's that. And I mean, like I said, overall fairly easy. It's just that one, the five, two, or five, four, and then the rest are twos. And then, and then the last set would be, but uh, I'll play it all through once more. Um, so like I said, it's those chords.
anyways, so all together, the song should sound, and I'm not, I'm not going to try and sing along with it, but it should sound something like this, and I'm going to, you know, skip a couple parts, but... would come in, carries on, and then the outro, so I guess, and then one more thing just to add in, when you're playing with the capo, it's nice for up here in the intro part. But the rest of the verse, it can get kind of complicated. I notice when I, well, not complicated, but you just have to watch what you're strumming because I noticed uh, when I uh, when I hit this chord, some of these higher notes were getting hit accidentally. So if you do play with a capo, watch out for that. Make sure that you're only hitting the notes that you really want to hit because otherwise it it'll get sound it'll sound a little messed up. But anyways, I uh, hope the video helped a little bit. Um, if not, uh, leave a comment or message me as to something that I might have left out or something you didn't fully understand, and I will try to reply to you with, you know, as much help as I can give you. So, thanks for watching.